Emuwa Jimmy instructor wanyo mfinsi edu ya sana ya Nipa bonfu bi kwa di ne uwe tantra heo no Oba wane neti ya sabre ne uudi ene kwa suwa Nwa ba nwa de emu hobi eno Adomu kasi yeti masu shen nwa hune eno Nwa chuchem kwa mwona Yedi ya pesi ya friend wano eye kuya E kuya eni ya kasa eno weche se Wane abe mano ene tia di Anajuni mpo ni nane wade mna se mi mfo mi ensei Nene be preswa bo be mani tu ono Ma mfo bi ke kansa ono aware Wasi be enfi ngwa chini kura nwa nwa jawa ni yenti Wanyo ba wale fwa Yenti ya sadu wadense mtu jani uh, I, I just saw somebody at the room sitting inside the window. At that time, Seth, what I was thinking is like, since there are boys in there, maybe somebody was just trying to, you know, being a bad boy to see what is going on in the room, you know. So I said, would you go and check? Uh, he didn't answer me. Yeah, he said, uh, yeah, I think that is just a cat because there is some cat here who has been moved. And so I saw a human being. So I took my cane as I was going. He said, please. And he, he said, where are you going? Go back. And I went to the, I was standing there at the bed, by the bed. And I saw him grabbing the a kitchen knife. He put everything down, grab a kitchen knife. knife. And so I went on the bed because for me, it, it, for my mind, as I said, it's just somebody trying to. And the timing too, I it never crossed my mind that the arm robber can be around at that time because it was around twelve thirty one thereabout. So I heard the next thing I heard is a, a key crack. Then at, at the same time, uh, who, uh, who is that in in Chi? I heard that that noise. Then uh, it's like somebody try. He opened the door. Then somebody at the same time tried to push, and then he push, he pushed back. Then uh, at the same time, I heard the uh, the gunshot. Then he screaming. He they shot me. He say, hey, he they shot me. They shot me. Then the girl, as he's talking like that with his hand on the, his chest, they push him in with the gun on him. So as I also heard, I was also ran through, the, coming towards, towards him. As I heard his, and they came and meet me with the gun, one on me and one on him, and another person. They pushed me, even pushed me back on the bed. While he was sitting, they had the gun on him with the other hand sitting on the bed. So they say, where, where are the phone? Where are the phone? And I gave them my phone. They say, where is the second one? I had to look for it in the bed because little put his own on the bed. With the bed sheet has gone on it. So I had to look for it and give it to them. Where is the money? We were, we were not having any money in the house. It's just some money little left on the uh, TV table. And that one, I think they have seen it and taken it before. It's like uh, some hundred Ghana with some coins today. So I quickly, since I was scared, quickly I said, please come and check. So I was just throwing everything out of the wardrobe for them to be sure that there's nothing. Threw everything out. Then they were convinced that there's no money. So they let him there and walk out. And then I grabbed this bed sheet. And, and he tried to press on the on the on the wood for him not to bleed. I could I I was lost. I didn't know I was screaming screaming for help. Then I I don't also want to leave the bed sheet and go and be banging on, on the door. But at, at the time I have to just leave it and go and bang at the door. Then they another they walk back inside with the gun on my head. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Because it, uh, maybe they are feeling that like I'm going to uh, alert the other people, and they remove the key out of the the door. But that time they were, I was even hearing them in the other rooms, in the other room talking. I mean, the same way they were doing. I was hearing them even walking. I heard even they brought somebody to open his car. The, there was a small car to the Zeus to open. Whose car, whose car is it? They were asking somebody, whose car is this? So when I heard that one, I went back to the hall to try to lock the door. And I saw that there is a, uh, you know, that metal thing that lock the door up. So I lock it up, up there. So at that time, I heard somebody after that, I heard somebody coming to shake the door, but they couldn't open it at that time. So I didn't hear anybody again. Then I was there, still hearing them moving around, bringing, doing things, talking, calling even each other. I heard this name, Awuro, Awuro, Awuro. <sighs> 
Then I said, I was still pressing the thing on 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 him, but since they are there, I don't know. I didn't know. I can't open the door to. Don't know. So um, I was with him, and then at the time, that was like about 15 minutes past. Get to 20 minutes. He's suffering. Then I saw that the blood was leaking through his back on the floor, and it wasn't. I noticed it wasn't small. I got panic, and I started screaming again, screaming. Then I said, like about 30 minutes, then he just caught up, like just go stand up flat once. Then the blood just flew, like uh, you know, when they take water hole, uh, the blood just came out. I got so scared, and then he started hitting everything he drew in his blood. The blood was. Uh, uh, um, Mm. At that time, I got so scared. I, I ran back to the hall and was knocking at the door, knocking, knocking. Uh, I wasn't hearing it. I, nobody was coming. The neighbors were not coming. So I thought that for me, they was uh, at least let me take him to the hospital. Natasha said, "Nia yeti ye no, aya baba wa nempana nia brantia. Ipa bofu biko bo nitu watantra he ojo mi instructor no, ena anti Martha." Eh, I'm 